Hey, what to do, gang? This your boy Silly Cell, man. We back in here, man, with another episode of Juice of the Legend, man. Man, shout out to all my supporters, man. Shout out to all my subscribers, man. Salute to y'all, man. Hey, let me give a shout out to my homeboy, man, man. So crazy TV, man. Y'all make sure y'all go tune in to my guy, man. Like I always tell y'all, man. If y'all looking for any kind of uh, promotion, y'all need uh, your merchandise promoted, man. Hit that email, man. It's in the link down below. LL Cool Cell 77 at gmail.com, man. Hit that email up, man. But today, man, we about to talk about that boy, High Boy Turk, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Turk, he been making his rounds, man, on the internet. And he been making a lot of noise lately, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, I, I really don't get what Turk doing, man. You know what I'm saying? Basically, he not promoting no kind of music, from my understanding. You ain't got no merchandise coming out. You ain't got no TV show coming out. If you do... You that's what not this what you not promoting, man. He on there speaking about his disdain for all type of rappers and talking about how everybody left him out and you know what I mean? Rick Ross and Meek Mills and Gilly the Kid. You know, pretty much letting everybody know how he feel about certain rappers or whatever. All it that's fine and dandy, man. You know what I'm saying? He made some valid points. But still, I don't get the purpose of getting on the internet, talking about how, you don't, how somebody ain't real because you try to reach out to him. And his whole slogan is, telling the truth ain't hating. Now, telling the truth ain't hating, but as a man, some things is not meant to be spoken on, man. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you come off as a, a little bit chatty patty, man. You know what I'm saying? We don't supposed to be doing all that. Certain things we're going to take to the grave, man. You know what I'm saying? But here's uh, this one thing that Turk said that just made me say, man, shut up, man. Go go find something to do, man. You know what I'm saying? Turk had the nerve to say that Juvenile, Juve the Great, the one who told y'all they were taking over to carry the money for the 99 and 2000 and did it, he said Juvenile only had a couple of songs, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me let y'all hear it, man. Let me let me let y'all hear it, man. And shout out to Be High, uh, Be High, you know what I'm saying? In Atlanta doing his thing, whatever. He was on Be High TV show, and uh, he had some things to say. Let me just let y'all hear. Ah, uh, I was on commercial, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Are you a retail mortgage loan officer or banker looking for new career opportunities? My Get bad job, my bad job. All right, here you go, here you go. And what made you feel that way? That's right, why I did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, y'all listen to this. What is it like being a part of a movement that large, though, man? It just feeling like you just around. Man. And what made you feel that way? That's why I did heroin and cocaine, dog, so I can't feel it. Mm. You know, and... I blocked the shit out, dog. There have been plenty of times I didn't feel like I was a part of that shit, you know. And um, I was a part of it in the outside of the world. Yeah. But I wasn't a part of it because nigga Julie got a Bentley. You know, I've been in the studio just like him. Nigga, I'm on about <laughs> four, five songs on 400 degrees. Nigga. Yeah. You know, all it takes is one song, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Shit, give me my Bentley. You know, it don't take a whole album because the whole album is not bangers. Yeah. It's the hits, and I'm on them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, knowing what I know now, nigga have one, one album and change their life. Yeah. Nigga, where my Bentley? Nigga, where my... All right, we're going to stop right there. This fool said... <laughs> 400 Degrees. One of the greatest albums. Not this cash money, not New Orleans, not Louisiana, not the South. One of the greatest albums in rap history. Only had a few a few hits on there. See, when you say stuff like that, man, I can't I can't believe nothing else you say, man. Everybody know. Everybody know, bro. From the time you put four hundred degrees in, I'm talking about from the skit from Manny Fresh. With Ziggly Wiggly get the top one on that thing. I'm talking about in front of it. You put it in and ride. You put it in and ride. 
How in the hell you gonna get your mouth, your tail on 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 the internet and fix your mouth to say something like that, man? Talking about Juvie got a Bentley, man. Juvie put cash money on the mail, Turk. Man, I ain't trying to down no black man. I ain't trying to hate on no brother man. You know what I'm saying? I am a fan of Turk music. Some of his music. Bro, everybody know you the weakest link in the hot boy, man. Like I said, I ain't trying to... We gonna, Since you said telling the truth ain't hey, telling the truth ain't hey. Don't finna tell the truth, man. Turk, bro, you was on hair run. Didn't nobody make you talking about you, 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 you took hair run because you felt like you wanted part of the group. Not just saying you on... No, every drink temp, you said you was on hair run because the bra like it because you said you putting that dope D on the females. Now, which one it is? Now, now you're trying to blame baby now for why you was on hair run. Due to you being on hair run, you miss videos. You miss your opportunity to be on the bling bling remix, even though you had one of the good, the best verses on there. You miss your opportunity because you was on hair run. You know what I'm saying? You only came out with one song, one album on Cash Money. You know what I'm saying? Your album came out when everything was over with. You know what I'm saying? You chose to get addicted to have wrong and put yourself in a situation where you end up having a shootout with the police and by the, by the grace of God, you got out, got out of it with your life. Had to do eight years, eight months, eight days, like you always saying. And you back out here. You know what I'm saying? You you came in the game with all that mad. You mad at everybody. Don't nobody owe you nothing. You know what I'm saying? The rap game only lasted for a few, what, three, four, three, four, five years. You know what I'm saying? You was in jail for eight years. You was on carrying money. You was, you was on the, get it how you live. You was on Gorilla World for fair. You was on the, uh, the last Hot Boy album. You was on all the big time albums and all that type of stuff. Bro, you had your shot, bro. How you gonna fix your mouth? And say Juvenile had one album that changed it. Like, let me tell you something, man. 400 Degrees put cash money on the map, fam. Juvie was the star, man. There's no denying that. You know what I'm saying? BG put in the work to get, wrecked, to get cash money they deal. When everything broke up, Lil Wayne took it to the next level. You were neither one of those guys. Juvenile do not need you. Stop telling people that... He need to put his pride to the side and do a hot boy reunion. Juvenile still touring off of all them songs he did back in the day. And let me, let me now for y'all who think Juvenile got one album, let me tell y'all something. Like I said, 400 Degrees got bangers on bangers on bangers on bangers, man. Ghetto Children, uh, Flossing Season, Rich Niggas, uh, Ride With Me. I ain't even named Han and back that thing up. You know what I'm saying? Follow me now. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the whole CD jamming from front to back. He, he followed it up with the album, the G-Code, the title track, G-Code. I ain't no, hey nigga, you understand? I'm a rapper, but I'm feeling gorilla. Uh, I got that fire. That's, that CD right there went double platinum. He came back. With Project English, that album had Sit It Off on there. It had Get It From My Mama, these hits. Another platinum album. He left Cash Money. You had your chance to try to, to do something, then he left Cash Money. Came back, dropped Juve the Gate. Great. I need it in my life. Come put it in my life. I'm about to bounce back. Bounce that, bounce back. Then came back with another number one, another one song with slow motion. Even though that was Slim, Slim song, Slim brought the Juve because he knew Juve was gonna take it to the top. Left Cash Money again when he did his thing with uh, Rapper Lot. Had the album, had the song with Know You Clap on there. Got got way going skip in the game. You know what I'm saying? Did sign with Atlantic. Came out with another album, Reality Chick. Had uh. Get your hustle on on there. Had uh, the rodeo on there. Another gold album. Came out with another album, Rejuvenated. Man, that's, come on, bro. We ain't even got to mention all the features that Juvenile was on when Cash Money took off. You know what I'm saying? 
We already talked about BG. BG put in all that work to get cash money there. Then when he got it there, he had Chopper set in the ghetto. Chop, chick mate. Other albums. He lived cash money. Dropped Life Out the Cash Money. Life Out the Cash Money Part 2. Heart of the Street. Heart of the Street Part 2. Signed a deal with Atlantic. You know what I'm saying? Before he went to jail. He put in the work. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne had the block his hot. He had the BGs and all that before that. He had the block his hot. He had lights out. He had 500 degrees. The car to one, two, three, four, five. The uh, all type of animal, bro. He took K money to the next level. Baby Slim do not need you. They just signed NBA Young Boy. They just sold over a billion screens. Manny Fresh don't need you. You need them, Turk. That's the truth. Now call me a hater. Because like you said, telling the truth ain't hating, Turk. And the truth is, bro, you don't have, you know, you don't hold that value, man, like the rest, the rest of the members in the group, man. Stop trying to make it seem like these boys holding their nuts on you. Juvenile don't even do interviews. BG in jail. Baby Slim really don't do interviews like that. Wayne don't really do interviews. You the only one on the internet talking. This grown up about something from 20 years ago, man. All these other rappers that been in groups and stuff like that, man, they they taking advantage of whatever they image and likeness that they got to eat off of, come out with some new merchandise, do something different, bro. You know what I'm saying? You had your shot, bro. You had your shot, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't see all them guys in the screwed up click doing that or Paul Wallen, Chameleon now, or... You know what I'm saying? None of these guys, man. You know what I'm saying? Ball and G, they never broke up. But they just working. Get out your feelings, man. And stop all that crying, man. You make yourself look like a bra, man. Then you talking about you a gangster, bro. You went to jail because you was a hammer on at it. And freaked out and shot the police. You know what I'm saying? You had a record. Then you had an opportunity. You was a junkie. Then you telling all these stories about other people that, man, don't do that, man. Stop being a bra, man. That was somebody need to tell you, man. You got a good woman behind you. You look like you're eating good. I'm glad, man. You know what I'm saying? I like to see a brother win. But stop all that chatty, patty gospel. And then want to make it seem like somebody owe you some photo of you. Nothing, huh? You know what I'm saying? You better be glad you was, you had the opportunity to be in the hot boy. You know what I'm saying? Stop all that crying on the internet, man. You believe in your own hype, bro. You know what I'm saying? Take it from me. I ain't trying to down no brother, man. But that, that miss you on this some bull jive, bro. You know what I'm saying? And... All my subscribers, y'all let me know in the comments. Do y'all think I'm being harsh on Turk, man? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm keeping it real. Telling the truth ain't hating Turk. And the truth is, you the weakest link in the hot boy, man. Them guys do not need you. Stop hating, get out your feelings, and go out there and